Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Guys, we have a new foot birthday to review. We're taking a look at someone named Nicholas Gonzalez. I'm not personally prefer, uh, familiar with this guy, but he is 5'11 with a high medium work rate, left footed, four star skills, a five star weak foot. To be fair, I tell you guys this all the time. When you are left footed, it adds to the card, right? It makes him a little bit more unique in that sense. Uh, position changes. He's got right mid and left wing. So the left wing one's actually a welcome one because you always want to use strong foot on the strong side as much as possible. So it's very good that he actually has that. Um, In-game player traits. The card has injury prone, speed dribbler, outside foot shot, technical dribbler. Uh, I hate that injury prone's there, but it is what it is. Um, okay, so let's take a look at what body type we're working with here because that's going to signify whether or not I give him like a hawk or a marksman. Okay, so he's a lean body type player. Lean body type. Um, it's still... Uh, I mean, technically speaking, you could give this card a hawk and then use him in the side position, and that wouldn't be horrible because he has the lean body type that could compensate for the dribbling being lower as a sided position player. You know what I mean? Because the hawk gives him the pace boost, which I feel like is important in this game, right? It gives him the shooting boost, and it also gives him a physical boost too. Passing is going to be in a decent area. Dribbling also going to be a decent area. The reason why I'm looking at finishers because it makes me want to give him a dribbling boost, even though he's a lean body type player. Because if I give him an engine just like this, 80s is going to be too low, right? Um, a marksman was the other thing that I was looking into because of the dribbling boost, but you also give him a shooting boost, but then sometimes pace and stuff wouldn't be in a higher area. That's more if you were to use the card in the middle positions more than the side area. So we do have to try him out on the Hawk chemistry style to see how that kind of performs in game. I think it's going to be very important to kind of see those things. But yeah, on a Hawk chemistry style, he'll have the pace, shooting, and physical. Um, 89 hitting accuracy with 90 jumping. He actually has that type of stuff. Okay. Technical dribbler, speed dribbler, outside foot shot. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and unlock the SBC. Hopefully it's like one squad and uh, we'll see what he's like. Okay, guys, so uh, yeah, we have him in the uh, Serie A team or somewhat Serie A team. So we'll just be using him. I'll use him on a Hunter because, listen, if you give him a Hawk, the physical boost, you're not really going to care too much about it, I don't think. Um, you may a little bit, depending on the situation, but the Hunter giving him that extra little bit of uh, acceleration while formatting his shooting to be in a better area with the better volleys, like, kind of makes sense. So let me, let me just try him out on that first, and then uh, we'll see what's up, okay? Nothing on the finesse shot there. Yeah, he gave me a little bit of space there, so I was kind of just figured, like, yo, why not just shoot it? There we go. Oh, oh. Oh, I try to get a tap shot there. Sometimes you just shoot through the defenders and you get lucky. So I just tried it. Oh, and I don't get the strike with his weak foot. Oh, lucky. I wonder if I do a tap shot there if it's like more accurate. Uh, by the way, is the dribbling part of the card, like, you definitely feel it being on the lower side. So, that could be something that you may want to improve, potentially. Now, options are plenty. Must score. There we go. Oh, Get him on his five-star weak foot. We'll take that opportunity. And he's got the beating of his opponent. Yeah, dribbling is not good. It, like you, if you want to make his dribbling more responsive, you would have to give him a dribbling chemistry style. White time shot, he still scores it. 
five star weak foot always clutch to have here's the thing though right i have a hunter on him and if i give him a shooting boost the only one that i can genuinely use to maybe fix the dribbling is the finisher so i want to see what the finisher is going to be like on him afterwards The chip shot worked. Nice. Well weighted there. Oh, I try to go for a first time strike there. Oh, Loki. I literally went for a chip shot because the AI just, <laughs> you, you guys know. Oh, that could have been a foul, eh? If the animation choice was different. Because I did accelerate into that position, and he kind of went in the opposite direction a little strangely there. See, now that's with the finisher. So we got to experiment with that a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit quicker. A bit of a nice goal. He has teammates around him. Can he put it away? Oh, I baited him on the um, on the touch there for the Burba. Every time he gets the ball, he looks a threat. Oh, no green on that one, just a white. Oh, nothing out of that. Did get the green on it for the weak foot strike. That worked out. Good stuff, good stuff. See, that's the thing about these types of cards, right? Like, if you're using them, you go up against someone like Sergio Ramos and stuff, like, it's just a G, you know? Like, even on a finisher chemistry style, like, he doesn't... His emphasis on the ball is just not gonna, like... It's not gonna do him justice, you know, to work that... Like, it has to be, like, a very obvious, cho like, choice of a shot to, to score. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. See, just a little bit. Like, I did a Burba cancel. He'll just be thrown off a little bit, you know? And it's with Pedro. It a go. There we go. Obvious ones, you see? I have to have, like, a lot of space behind it. Oh, couldn't get the finesse shot. Tap shot. Shoot again. Oh, the emphasis on that. Yeah. No, 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 my brain. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Nico Gonzalez card. Um, so, guys, in regards to how this card performs in game, we tried him out on both the hunter chemistry style as well as the finisher chemistry style the reason being for this is because we want to experiment to see whether or not we could change the dribbling capabilities of the card now even if i give this card a finisher chemistry style his dribbling is still going to feel a little bit off from time to time uh, maybe it has to do with base card stats maybe it has to do with base capabilities of the card uh 84 for composure couldn't really tell you but on a finisher or a hunter, it didn't really make too much of a difference, right? So for a card like this, you have to use him in the way that I was mentioning to you guys. So you have to use him on a hunter chemistry style, right? By the way, during this review, if you ever hear me say 
anything about the weak foot. Oh, like, oh, great strike with his weak foot. He's obviously a left-footed player. I'm not specifically going for strikes on the strong foot or the weak foot. I'm not familiar with this guy. So whether or not I said it's a weak foot or a strong foot, you were able to see both opportunities, right? But on a Hunter chemistry style, that's the way that this card is going to be the most usable. And specifically using him in the left-sided area, right? The main thing you're going to have to work with with this card is obviously going to be dribbling capabilities, regardless of the lean body type on the card. He does have like a weird feeling uh, towards it when it comes to just general movement, right? If you do get into the right position at the right time and you actually go for, you know, green time strikes, you get into the right positions uh, to score your opportunities, he'll be able to score them, right? You just have to work with that dribbling from time to time. Obviously, it'll be a little bit more rough to work with if you're up against like the full meta players. Uh, but again, if you do get into those very, very obvious situations, you should be able to score most of your opportunities, especially if you are using him strong foot on the strong side as much as possible, right? So uh, for me, he joins the concept SBC category. Nothing too crazy to get, honestly. Uh, it's a card to unlock if you're trying to build some sort of Argentinian team. Uh, maybe you are a Fiorentina fan, so you want to unlock the card for that reason. I feel like with cards like this, they should probably do like two different SBCs because like they're not too crazy. But at the same time, it's 36k for someone to work with that concept. But Nothing too crazy special out of the card. You could definitely make him work, but nothing too crazy. Uh, but guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. There should be a lot of reviews today for a lot of the other cards that I haven't checked out yet. Well, I have checked them out. I just have to do the intros and outros for them. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys for those videos. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.